10 on this Saturday morning. Chris Spears covering Colorado's for forecast for us first this morning. And uh, Chris, it's been so beautiful. There's just the sense that something's on the way. <laughs> that weather is going to certainly change and change fast in true Colorado style. That is an awesome cloud hanging uh, just above the foothills there. Uh, almost looks like a little lenticular cloud left over from last night. And we'll see more of that today with some strong gusty wind. Temperatures out there right now kind of all over the place. We're really seeing our microclimates this morning. Single digits and high mountain valleys, teens and low 20s for most mountain locations. Southeast Plains, we're in the 20s. It's 40 in Colorado Springs. It's quite windy down that way, and it's windy here on the northeastern plains. That's why most of us are in the 30s this morning. Just six at Mary's house outside of Alamosa down in the San Luis Valley. 36, though, up in Morgan County. Diane says she's had winds as high as 40 miles per hour. Very windy right along the Continental Divide, the Front Range Mountains and foothills, and you see that wind kind of spilling out onto the plains. Akron gusting over 30 miles per hour. We're in the 20s in Fort Morgan. It's quite windy north of Fort Collins and also west of Denver on I-70. And this is just going to be the trend as we go through the day today. Some high clouds passing through. No precipitation in Colorado. We have to fly all the way up to the Pacific Northwest. Here comes a new storm system and it will be impacting us over the next few days. Here it comes dropping into the Great Basin. It will sit and spin over Nevada and Utah as we go through the rest of your weekend and then make a move across Colorado on Monday. Out of Ahead of it, all kinds of wind alerts. This is a warning here. Uh, the darker brown is a watch uh, for the front range of the southern part of the state. Winds could be up to 60 miles per hour with gusts as high as 90. And you know it's very dry across the state. So with that wind, we now have a fire weather watch for tomorrow on the southeastern plains. We'll be worried about wildfires. Future cast today, maybe a snow shower in the northern mountains. Most of us are going to stay dry. But as we go into Sunday, watch the cloud cover increase from the northwest and the snow really spread into the high country. Sunday night and we may get a little snow here by Monday morning into Monday night as that storm system makes its approach. No doubt a winter storm watch has already been issued for the western mountains. We could be talking a lot of snow. High temperatures today very mild east of the mountains uh, on the front range and eastern plains. Not too bad in the high country, uh, but we will be in the 50s here around Metro Denver. Joel, tomorrow, can you believe this? 66 wow. degrees. Uh, a lot of sunshine, that wind, the fire danger, clouds on the increase, and then the bottom drops out Monday. <laughs> we have a pretty good chance of snow headed our way and a very cool start to the week, only 19 Tuesday. So quite a busy weekend ahead. A lot of ha stuff happening with the weather. A 60-degree shift in one day. It's Colorado. Yes, it is indeed. Thank yes. you, Chris. 13 Russians.